You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have the lovely Michelle Brace with me here from the Council on Aging. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. Um, we love what you do over at the Council on Aging. You, Janice, Dottie, Carla, everybody over there. It's a very warm, inviting place. People love to go there. Um, and it's, it's positive. The parties, the events that you do, the, the people, the, the really special people over there. Yeah. Um, the only sad thing is, is when they're no longer with us, and when we go back and we see somebody like, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember her last name. She used to tell me that I left her for the blonde, who's my wife. Oh. Mary <laughs> Mute. Mary Mucci. Oh, I remember her. Okay, and the Amorosos that are my neighbors that live around the corner from me. I've made lifelong friends over there. I mean, I'm heading towards the age anyway. Right. But. There isn't an event that doesn't go on over there that isn't a good event. Even if it's an educational event about not your favorite topic, which we're going to talk about. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So new to the COA that's just being started is a health series in partnership with Signature Health. With Signature Healthcare, yeah. So they're going to come over once a month. Um, we focus mainly on topics for people 60 and older because the senior center in Brockton is for people, anybody 60 or older can come in for events. Um, so Signature Health is going to come once a month, mostly on the first Monday of each month, and they're going to present a topic that, you know, might be a hard topic to talk about. Yeah. Um, like our first one is Monday, March 5th, and they're going to talk about the importance of colonoscopies and how to prevent colorectal cancer. So My least favorite topic on the world. So, so I don't think so. almost anybody likes that topic. No, no, no. When you go for your physical, that's the part you don't really want to go for. But, um, but it's important. It's important. Right. Okay. So that's the first Monday of the month, and there'll be doctors, nurses, medical professionals, so you can get the, the real story. The real story, okay. right. Okay. Because... And learn that it's not so scary, because it is, you know, you hear all these horror stories, and it doesn't have to be that. Well, we know our seniors are internet savvy. A lot Some of them, them are, yeah. A lot of and them are it, more. You can get bad information on the internet. So you want to get a good official source. Right. Brockton, I mean, signatures, I, I still call them Brockton Hospital because I was trained that way, but the hospitals in the Brockton area, all of them, they work with people. We have good medical care in Brockton. We, we definitely do. Even though Boston's close and is really name hospitals, we have, we have good hospitals right here in the city of champions yeah so there's one in the first monday in 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 march and then and then we have one the first monday in april on the second uh they're both at one o'clock both days the okay. second one is going to talk about ophthalmology which you know changing eyesight is something a lot of seniors go through so they'll come and discuss issues around eyesight, that eyesight macular degeneration all that stuff i've been mm -hmm. through all of my cataracts, my, cataracts. Glaucoma. my grandmother had cataracts i used to put drops in her eyes now i can't put a drop in my eye to save my life because i don't like anyone to touch my eyes so when i go for the exam it's really hard so if i hurt myself i'm in trouble <laughs> i could never do contacts i could do glasses but yeah I need to do a check because diabetics have to get checked every year. Definitely. You have to do a diabetic eye check. So that's on my list of things to do for my doctor, for my physical that I just had. So that's the first thing coming up. Mm -hmm. You got a whole list of dates. You have a I whole do. calendar and you can get the calendar is a PDF on the City of Brockton website. Yeah, correct? if you go to City of Brockton and you go under all departments, click on Council on Aging, it's right underneath. You can see all the activities and events. You can see the entire newsletter, all 12 pages, with the descriptions, the calendar page. And it'll list our upcoming events for the next month as well. And you can pick it up at the Council on Aging. Or Absolutely. You, can, you probably mail some of them too. I know we get one. Yeah, and it's very easy if people want to. We always encourage people to stop by the Council on Aging because. Honestly, what we hear a lot of times is, oh, I'm a senior, but I'm not old. Well, all of our seniors aren't old. You know, right. they're, if you come to the Council on Aging, it's a very youthful group that we have, even though everybody's 60 or older. Um, so it's nice to have people see that for themselves so they can see how young and vibrant and welcoming and active the center is. Mm -hmm. And if they do that, we can just put a little bit of information in the computer for them, sign them up so they can actually have the newsletter delivered to their house each month. And then they can call and ask questions if they want to attend a specific program or there's an opportunity in here that they want to further investigate. They can just call and ask over the phone. And all of your things are affordable. They're low cost, no cost. You know, trips and things get a little more expensive, but, but yeah. they're, they're affordable because there's strength in numbers. Okay? Right. And when you come there, you always have food. 
I, I always say them, if you feed them, they will come. Absolutely. <laughs> so. And the only thing you don't have a lot of, and you're working on that, is space. I know there's a whole capital campaign that's going to be going on, and you guys mm -hmm. are going to add on to the Counts on Aging. I know there are some people that would love you to move, but right now the plan is to stay where you are and add on. Right. Um, because it's a, it's, a, it's a very warm, inviting place. If, if you go there, it was, it was built well. Yes. But it's not big enough because there's a river on one side, so you can't go any place. Right. You need parking. Yes. So you can only do so much. I guess the lawn area is where the addition is. There's a couple of different uh, thoughts on how they're going to pursue the addition. And so. we're going to be with you all the way because we want to see it grow and thrive. And I've watched every location in Brock, and I've been here for 23 years. So you've been in different locations, but that one, the Mary Cruz Kennedy Center, mm -hmm. to be complicate, com complemented by the Thomas P. Kennedy main branch of the library. So because the Kennedys lived around the corner on Winthrop Street, right. that area was their turf or their hood, if you want to call it, right? Oh, I know. I grew up right on Levitt Street. So there you go. <laughs> so um, what other events do you have that are coming up? Uh, we have one in conjunction that's being hosted with our SALT triad group. So mm -hmm. SALT is Seniors and Law Enforcement Together. That's going to be Wednesday, March 7th, and it's really a hot topic right now. We're going to talk about identity theft. Yep and fraud prevention online, especially with the, some of the breaches that have come out recently, we're still getting a lot of questions of how do I protect myself? And okay. how can I do things online with knowing I'm safe and not being paranoid about it afterwards? So we actually have um, District Attorney Timothy Cruz is gonna come over and talk about scams. Then we have um, Robin Putnam, who's from the Office of Consumer Affairs, and Amy Schramm, who's from the Better Business Bureau, are all gonna be there that day to speak about different things that we should be aware of. What time is that? That's at 1 o'clock. Okay, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock's the time. Mm -hmm. Keep going. We'll do all the dates. We'll go through all of them. Jay will give me the timekeeper. Okay. Uh, we have Patrick Sullivan, who is over at the Department of Public Works in Trash and Recycling. And for those that don't know, Brockton's going to be rolling out a new recycling program in the spring. So he's going to come over on March 8th, which is a Thursday at um, 12 noon to talk about the recycling program. He's gonna show people the new bins that they have in mind for everybody. Uh, he's gonna talk to them about how if they want, they can actually load an app onto their smartphone to see when their trash pickup is, if it's changed because of a holiday, sure. all of those kind of things. So he's actually coming twice. He's coming on Friday, March 23rd at 10 a.m. as well. Okay, and then you guys probably have your St. Patrick's Day big St. Patrick's Day party, it's when huge. Is that? It's gonna be on Wednesday, March 14th. Okay. And it's catered by Hart Brothers Catering. It'll be a traditional corned beef menu. It's the gray corned beef, not the other, because you know that's important. Yeah. Um, and it's from 12 to 2 that day. Uh, it is an event that sells out very fast. Well, you know Jay and I are gonna be there because I missed the Valentine's Day party. I was heartbroken that I couldn't do that. We had like four competing events all at the same time, and Jay was the the, the successful bidder for the COA. Jay, yeah. Jay, Jay loves to, I, both of us do, but I, I, took, I think I took a training that day or something. Uh, I don't know what it you was. You missed a lot of fun. I know, but <laughs> I'll get there for this one. So I'm going to stop here because I got the one minute queue, which is about 30 seconds now. Okay. Phone number, you already told us about the website, how to get in touch with you, and you know. I locate them. Yep. Okay. Um, so the Brockton Council on Aging, we're located at 10 Father Kenny Way. We are on the corner of Father Kenny and Maine, so if you're at the main branch of the YMCA and look across the street, we're on one corner, St. Patrick's is on the other. Um, if they want to call for more information, they can call 508-580-7811. Thank you, and say hi to Janice and Carla and Dottie and everybody over there. I will. We Thank you for having me. love you guys all. Thanks. Thanks. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.